welcome back to West Newton Farm and we're just going to take a look at this bit here so if you remember last week in the setup video it was all a bit a bit wonky so I've sorted it out we've still got a bit of a dip here but that'll be all right and I kind of I can't level this out anymore but I think it'll do I think it'll do well it's gonna have to do isn't it but yeah so we we've got this leveled out it looks a bit more acceptable than, than what it did before so that is done I've also put all of our machinery that we bought away and we're gonna do we're just gonna get a few things sorted so um, last week in last week's video I asked if cotton was a common thing in Scotland and I got a message back from somebody and I can't remember who it was because the post didn't actually stay up I don't know whether it got deleted or what it was but I did see it and it said that cotton wasn't a thing that happens in Scotland which I didn't think it was anyway so with that knowledge um, I'm going to try and stay true to it and I'm going to get rid of that so I'm just going to plow it out I'm not going to use it it's it wouldn't be right to so we'll just plow it out and treat it as a, a stubbled field if you like so the first things that we're going to do is we want to sort out our fields well you need to buy some more equipment um, so we're going to take the Zetor and the Ford down to the dealers and we're going to buy some equipment so but the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to put in because this isn't this isn't the the standard farm for us to Well, apparently I can't do that anyway. Okay. Well, we'll abort that and we'll think of something else later on. Yeah, I wanted to put a sleep trigger in there, but there's already one on the map. I don't know how I can eradicate that or if I can. Anyway, we're going to take the Z tour. We're going to take the Ford down to the dealers. Um, I'm gonna drop off I'm gonna drop off bucket just in case we want to get another implement to go on the front of there um, and then we'll stick the forward on follow me and then we'll head straight down to the shop cut it out to save ourselves a bit of time and and then we'll go through what we're going to buy so I'll see you down there in two seconds so we're just coming through the village to the shop we've got the forward is following with a van, whoa, ah, van behind, hopefully it's not going to cause any issues, so we'll just pull up here, and we want to turn you off, I'd like it if they were a little bit more intelligent, these helpers, it would be nice wouldn't it? So we're going in the shop. I didn't really need to do that, but you know, why not? Equipment. So what are we going to buy, Zebra? Uh, we are going to buy, uh, what is it under? Is it here? Is it in this? Nope, it's not. Uh, where will it be then? Maybe it's under miscellaneous. Nope, but we 
will want that at some point. Um, hmm. There it is. Ah, there it is. Eiffel Williams. Uh, how do we want it? Uh, with the headboard, with, yeah. Yeah, we want it fully loaded. Do we want a registration plate on it? Doesn't really make any difference to us, does it? We could be a little bit realistic. Ireland, no. Northern Ireland, no. Germany, no. UK. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, and the reason we want that is for uh, missions. When we have transportation missions, we can stick it on the back of the Zeta. You can use the Zeta with some pallet forks and we use that trailer to maneuver stuff around and pick up various odds and sods and things like that that we need for the farm. So it's going to be a, a very valuable piece of equipment. So what do we need now? We don't want a plow. I don't want a plow. I don't like plows. We want... Uh, that's what I want. The Valentini. I was going to go with the Immense kit. But I want this. Because I like it. I saw it on Mod Hub and I thought I like that. I like it a lot. It's pretty wide, 4.5. They do a good job for us. New green, old red, old green. Does it look like an old red? I don't like that. What about old green then? Limey old green. Actually, I think I prefer it in a new green. So we're having that. No, thank you. And what else do we want? Oh yes, that's what we want. Should be under here. This. And I want it in orange because my daddy's one was orange. And I was going to go with the, the barrel weight, but it seems to be done to a death. So we're going to go with this, the tractor triangle by Flegel. Uh, and then there's various uh, things that you can put onto it. So we've got the, the Sawyer uh, weight there. We've got a self-made block of concrete. Another self-made one, which is metal and concrete. Um, the arm track, armor track, triangle weight. And obviously this triangle can also go on the front of a tractor um, if we wanted it to but it comes with those so not that one uh, so it comes with this one the Deutsch Fahr, the John Deere the arm track this lizard self-made one this lizard self-made self-made one and this Sawyer um, I think hmm. just checking there wasn't any more I think oh. we're gonna go for that one that's right because you can put a rope on it rope no rope yeah make it look a little bit more cool so that's the one we'll have okay so that is done and dusted next was we want to get to a fertilizer spreader and I downloaded a mod and pretty much everything that we're going with so far bar the McHale stuff which I still need to put in the descriptions but and as, uh, as soon as I as soon as I can I will um, is on mod hub but we want is it under that no did I want a sprayer or did I want a fertilizer spreader I think I want to. Yeah, I want this. How are we doing for money? We're okay. 
We want the extensions on it. It's going to cost us a bit, but I think it's going to be worth it. We want the cover. 18, 21, 24, 28, 30, 36, 40, 41. Oh well, yeah, cover as wide as we can. What's it actually put on price-wise? Nothing. So of course. Oh, well, and that is as large as it will go. That's right, 41, yeah. Cover. Bye. So that's cost us 22,500, but it's going to be worth it. And that is all that we are here for today. Splendid. So there is our spreader, the Amazon. It's on Mod Hub. So is that, so is that, and so is this, and so is that. And how are we going to get it all back? I never think about these things. Well, I, I kind of did because uh, I should have brought the pallet for it. speak to the shop owner <laughs> see if we can borrow uh, something possibly to put some of this on like this I like the look of this I think it looks like a good piece of kit Holds up nice and out of the way, and it's it's very compact. It doesn't stick out a lot, so you can just go and get on with your with your job. Hmm. Let's go and speak to the dealer. Then. So they were very kind enough to put things on for us. <laughs> I have no idea if that's going to work. We can only try it. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna work. So. Anyway, let's let's see what happens. As long as we stay take it steady, I think it will be fine. I'm not scared. So let's jump in the Ford. stick with it just in case anything exciting happens and then we'll make sure that we've got it on camera. So yeah, um, like I said last week, per, this is going to be mainly a contractor's game. Um, I want to try and survive, make as much money as possible from just doing contracting work, but obviously we're going to experiment with these horses, it gives us something else to do, and we've got our three fields that we're, we're going to use to get our things that we need for the horses, so we're going to grow oats to feed the horses, which will also give us our bales, um, we're going to get hay from our grass, um, and and yeah, uh, maybe we'll 
we'll try and do a crop that's going to make us a bit of money off the side as well. Um, but predominantly I want to do contracting work and I've, I've got an idea of getting some guest gamers in to help do some contracting. We're actually going to get stuck there like that. We really are. <sighs> yeah, I want to get some guest helpers in. If it all works. I don't understand why there was an issue with that, but there obviously was. On the odd video here and there. Uh, mainly because I, I want to I want to involve some some people, some friends. Um, and I want to try and make the videos more exciting. I, I'm not promising that that is exactly what I'm going to do. That's what I want to do. Uh, and only if it works out right for everybody involved will it happen. Because obviously we all have we all have jobs and we all have families. And if it doesn't work out for one of us, then it's not gonna it's not gonna happen, is it? We're going to struggle up here, as expected, because it's, uh, it's it's not it's not that steep. It's steep enough, and we've only got the uh, the small horsepower engine in this seater, mainly because uh, we didn't need anything high powered. This is just a yard tractor really um, and for floating around doing the odd job here and there um, we'll probably upgrade the Ford at some point but for now I just wanted to get something that had, had some had some beef to it but would also not break the bank at the same time but it will it will be will be um, upgraded quite quickly, I would have thought, Depen well, depending on how quick everything else moves along. So we're also going to need to get ourselves a drill for things. And for now, I'm just going to leave the Zeta right there. We're going to jump onto the fall. And we are going to get stuck into the cotton field uh, and rip that up. Um, and I don't, I don't want anybody shouting and complaining about me doing this now because I've explained, I explained the reasons. And to be fair, to lease a cotton machine, a cotton harvester. Just to do this field would be uh, well. Personally, I think it would be stupid. So, well, well, apparently we'll lower it first. And um, let's get to uh, let's get to a plow. Do you know what? I might enlarge this field. I might do that next time. So we can actually get some pace on with this as well, which is good. Look at that. We've got um, different textures on the ground. Look at those furrows. That looks that looks great.
Can you what? I'm gonna I'm gonna jump us into a nice time lapse now. Getting this field done. And I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. Conservation areas, that's the one. Uh, and I was thinking it's likely that they would have larger or large borders around the site for habitat areas like we do down where I am, where I'm from. Um, so I thought actually it would be a good idea to leave these in. If, um, if they don't, if somebody knows and it's not it's not a thing, you don't have habitat boundaries, let me know and I'll rip it up. <laughs> I'll just rip it up. But um until until I know I'm gonna leave it. It's not it's not a problem for us at the moment. We're not we're not losing that much if we don't do it. Uh, but I'd like to I like to try and keep it, keep it as true as I can to the area. So that is it, bar well, that tiny little one there sticking up, we're going to go and grab that now. Another thing I was thinking about whilst I was just uh, plowing that, is really are going to need another tractor to go with this Ford rather than upgrade it. Uh, and the reason I say that is because whilst this one is working, doing one thing, we can put a hired helper in it. And then we can have another tractor doing another job somewhere else. I've installed the mod that allows you to run multiple... Um, multiple missions 
which would be which will be handy because we can we can obviously have two jobs on the go if we want. So I'm gonna put this in here. I'm wondering if it will if we can take it off. Yeah, we can. We can take it off. Fold of that. That's good. So that even that takes up even less room. Excellent. So the next thing we're going to want, we're, I want to stick some lime on that. I would have would normally do it before you um, X. You would normally do it before you... That was supposed to unstrap everything. I got into the wrong track there. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. Yeah. There we go. Get rid of that. So we're going to... Get that off. Yeah, um, what was I saying? Zebra? Zebra doesn't even know. I want to get this off. Now you know how I got it on. <laughs> so lime, lime is a thing. I want lime on there. Yes, you would normally do that before you plow, really. But Obviously we had the crop in there still, and I wanted to, I wanted to get, I wanted to rip it out. That's, that's basically what I wanted to do, I just wanted to rip it out, because I'm savage like that. Uh, but we're going to, and to be fair, that can stay there for now. So, I if we've got a lime station, I'm going to take the trailer down. Not this trailer. The... The, um... The tipper. The Marston. Because... I want to fill it up, get a massive load of lime, and we'll tip it into our, that one this one here because it's got separators in the shed and hopefully this is going to work because it's all moved now no it's not even going to help this is it That you would normally be able to pick up anyway. So let's plump that there. Which way round is that? So that is. Oh, that is properly. That properly bullet itself, isn't it? Why is it doing that? Hmm, weird. Let's stick this on. That looks cool. That looks really cool. Let's see if we can get the trailer on whilst it's on there then. Just to move it. Yeah, so we're gonna get line, we're gonna get a load of line with the with the master trailer. We're gonna Bring it down to the farm and then we've got it in stock. What oh, does that's brilliant? So that can stay on all the time. I'll tell you what you do want to do. Put that away. 
Yeah. Hopefully we can pick that weight up. We'll stick our trailer here for now. And actually, I put the horse box around the front of the yard, but actually I'm going to bring it around here because then it's, it's out of the way then, isn't it? And nobody can see it. No thieveries can see it. So let's find out what is going on with this thing. Because it doesn't look very happy at all, does it? Nearly worked. Why is it going upside down? Something really not right there. Oh, let's see if it'll go on like that. <laughs> That's not good at all. Why are you being silly? Hmm. Okay, well, let's not get annoyed with it. Let's see if we can do something with it. Let's see. We can come in here, take the rope off of it. Yeah. It hasn't. I thought it would have reset it. Oh. It's a weird, weird old thing, isn't it? of success. <laughs> but we got the rope off, we'll sort that out another time. Excellent. Uh, that fits on there. This goes up and down. Which is good news. So I'm happy about that now. And it's going to stabilise us when we're lifting stuff. Because she's only a diddy tractor. Um, and then we need to work out what we're going to do. So we need to buy drill, we need to buy lime. Um, let's quickly look at our field. So we don't need to lime that, but we do need to lime our field 94. So I'm going to get next week we're going to get a trailer load of lime and tip it into this barn here because we've got we've got separators in here so we can we can stick lime in that one and then we can stick our oats in that one for the horses when we've got that all going we need to buy a drill lime and a drill and some fertilizer and yeah there we go so we're gonna we're gonna end the episode there so thanks very much for watching stay safe and may the weather be with you <laughs>